What's up, Israel Maldonado here. We're gonna talk a little bit about how to switch from one chord to the next really easy, okay? We, if you go back to the lessons we've been doing, I'm only gonna be talking about those chords we went over, okay? So we talked about the E's, the A's, the D's, C's, and G's, and all that stuff. But some of these chords have little shortcuts. They'll get you from one chord to the next a lot quicker, okay? So let's just pick a couple of them, okay? Off the top of my head, let's go from like G, to a D chord, okay? So from G chord, the first thing, whenever I'm thinking about G chord, I'm already thinking about the shape, what it looks like, okay? Because I've been playing these chords for so long, but I just remember what the shapes look like. Even as a professional guitarist, there's still shapes at the end of the day, you know what I mean? You can actually get really into the whole theory and how they're built and everything like that, but we're trying to make it as simple as possible for everybody, okay? Because now we, we all didn't go to music school, you know what I mean? So let's just get to it quickly. Okay, so we have a G chord. When we get to the D chord, one thing you want to do, let's see, what would be my shortcut to go from a G to a D chord? So i got to start thinking ahead, okay? For me, the shortcut is going to be this middle finger going to the first string because it's going to tell everybody where the D chord is at. So as long as you have a leader that's taking you to the chord, then you go, okay, cool. Or... You can assign the first finger to be the leader. It's your choice, okay? Because sometimes different fingers make sense for certain people and then other fingers make sense for other people. So make sure that you pick whichever finger you want to use. There's really no right or wrong. It's what's going to get you the, to the chord quickest, okay? So it'll be from a G chord. It'll get me to the chord quicker if I put my first finger to the second fret, third string. Okay, now how am I going to get to an A chord from here? Let's just pick the first finger to go up. That's going to be my leader. Switch. Make sure, you, make sure you lift and land. Okay, let's say I'm going to go to an E chord. What's going to be my leader? It's going to be my first finger. Land. Lift. Land. Lift. And land. Let's go to a C chord. Lift. So make the shape mid-air, because you remember what the shape looks like. D, let's go to a B7. So you see, I'm already making the shape, so I know what the shape looks like. I say B7, and it just clicks. So that's where you have to memorize these chords. There is no choice. You have to memorize these shapes, chords. Shapes slash chords, chords slash shapes, however you want to see it whatever makes whatever works for you because we're all our brains are different so sometimes some things work better for some people okay than other things okay so just just as long as you memorize these shapes you're going to be pretty good okay let's go to a g7 what's going to be my guide finger is going to be probably this guy right here lift so that way you have some sort of a rest in between chords I'm doing slow. See? In between chords, I lift. One more time. You see right there? That's how you switch chords. Okay. Thanks for watching this lesson. Hopefully you learn how to switch from chord to chord a little bit easier. If you have any questions, let me know. You can send me an email or leave it on the comments below. Thank you so much.